yay, welcome to Fly With Lauren, part of Art Fly Learn. So I hope life is treating you well, I hope you are all good and today I'm just doing a general read and it's a pick a pile. So I've laid out three piles, I've no idea what any of the energies are and I just want you to spend a little minute with each of the piles and we'll see what you need to know. So in front of us we've got pile one, pile two and pile three. So I'm actually going to timestamp all of these piles so you don't have to listen to all three if you do not wish to. So that will be in the description below, check it out and you can just skip right through. For everybody else, um, if you want to watch it all, feel free. So welcome pile one, this is your pile, let's spread them out and see what they've got to say for you. Right, this is really interesting energy. So this is telling me about your working life. So I'm getting fish energy here, which is about your finances or your career. And again, I'm getting two queens. So this could either be somebody that potentially you're going into business with, or this is both sides of yourself. So the working woman and the home woman. Um, again, the working woman being the queen of pentacles, you could be a Capricorn, don't have to be. It could also be telling me that you are, you defy basically that working mother, whether you have children or not, it's telling me that you can basically boss it all. You can, you can tend to everybody else's needs around you, family needs, and you can bring home the bacon. So you are definitely glowing up when it comes to your work life. I feel like if there's been something surrounding work, some form of business or some form of disappointment, some person around you which has been a bit snaky, um, I'm just feeling some sense of healing which might come to that. It might even be that finances have just felt a bit rubbish at the minute and again COVID is a bugger so there might be some healing surrounding that but again stay confident and keep your faith and know because this is Aquarius energy you need to know that all of this is about to glow up it's about to get better. So for many of you it's telling you that you have a very quirky sense about you um, the reason you are so successful in business is because you actually have a slight, like it's almost like a genius, like there's a part of you which is so original and so unique and you need to embrace that. So you need to know that there's a part of you that um, makes you desirable. There's a reason why you are successful. There's a reason why people probably want to imitate you and, you know, essentially copy what you do because I feel like you, you're a leader basically. I genuinely feel like you show the way you lead the way. There might be something technology wise that you might be moving forward to. You might have also had quite a few problems with technology because we just had Mercury retrograde, which is a nightmare for technology, but we're out of that. So if you have had technological problems, if you've got like a YouTube or you've got an online business or you've been doing Zoom and stuff and it keeps on crashing and having problems, it's like know that you're in the, at the end of that phase. So everything should be much better for you moving forward. So there's a sense of your personality which people are slightly addicted to. You are definitely coming across as Leo energy. So this is about confidence. You're super creative. You have a real high passion, high energy. And again, it's a very addictive, confident energy. So this is, um, yeah, it's definitely telling me again that you're glowing up. You follow your heart basically. So Leos are extremely heart driven. Um, they don't do anything without passion and without gusto. So. I'm feeling like these are the opposites of you as well because these are opposite each other. So you, you have a really good balance because you, you've got a lot of Aquarius in you and a lot of Leo. And again, it's opposing um, signs, which is, which is amazing. So again, it's just showing me both sides of you, saying that you can do both. So I'm getting a very balanced type of person with you. So there's something that I feel that you've started. So it's either um, you've got a brand new mindset. It's either that you go, right, now I know what I want, I'm super clear, or you might have started a new business and it's going, right, now it's taken me a long time to get to this. I've really followed and trusted my intuition and my gut on this. And now the energy is building momentum. So I feel like this is right at the beginning. And if that's not that, it could be something within your home or family life or work life. Maybe you've just committed to a new house. It could be taking that commitment to end something as well, but whatever it's telling me that the next phase, it's already like that seed's already planted within you and it's gonna keep growing and it's gonna get bigger and better. So because you're, you're starting from the ground and you're working up, it's just telling you, put that strategy in place. Make sure that you are keeping it super original, keeping it with that essence of you. So not being too influenced by the others around you, but really embracing who you are and follow, following what's super authentic to your heart. So 
you've got the cave energy here. So maybe you have been like almost in like a hibernation type energy. Maybe you've been kind of withdrawn or within yourself or kind of like nesting, kind of keeping everything kind of just simmering. But now it's telling you that you need to get out of that cave. So if you are in that cave energy, it's time to open up, like, let the light in to keep moving forward. So this isn't about being hidden away. This is about being in the forefront because Leos, they ain't in no caves. They are, rah, you know, they're very much about getting in the limelight, basking in the limelight. So again, I'm seeing the mirror here, which I feel maybe there's somebody connected to you or something connected to you, which has been triggering you. So this could be another person which is triggering you to glow up. So say with work or with love or something, you've been having um, pain with it or you've been having trouble with it or you've had um, something problematic because what I'm seeing is they're mirroring, they're shining to you anything unhealed within yourself. So if you have been getting over emotional about something or about somebody doing something a certain way, it's not it's not about them, it's about how they pull a weakness on you. Because this is definitely a soul energy. It's, it's somebody that was maybe brought into your life to help you learn something or to help you grow from something. So I definitely see that there might be some triggering which put you in this darkness, which put you in this dark space, this space of just needing to heal something within yourself. So if that is you, you just need to know that it's time to come out of that. You've healed, you need to see it for what it is and allow it to allow this growth, this shedding of old skin of the past. So it's coming out of that dark phase and into the light. So let's look at what overall energy or what advice this group needs. So what does Collective One need from Tarot? What do they need to hear? Everything. <laughs> no, you don't need to hear everything. There's too many. I'm gonna put them back in. What do you need to hear? Right, that one came out. Yeah, so this, a lot of you, this is about energy. So it's telling me that you needed to realize that you could actually trust yourself, that you see through the veils of things, that you were not wrong. Something about what you thought or what you saw is perfectly right and you need to trust your gut. So I feel like you guys have used your gut as your guide. So maybe there was some form of um, mystery about something or something that didn't sit well with you, with a person or with another or something within business and you weren't wrong. So again, moving forward, you need to use your spiritual higher self. So it's not just what you see, but what you feel. So I really feel like you guys are highly intuitive. Again, you might see all the synchronicities, the 11 11s, the universe trying to move you in a way to help you see exactly how you should be fulfilling your potential, because I definitely see about that this is going after your dreams. So slow and steady wins the race. This is King of Pentacles energy. So there has been something where there's been a lot of time connected to what you're doing. Slow, steady progress is what I'm getting. And because this is a big project, it's, it's almost like the migration story of a bird. So it has intentions. So there's something about what you're doing. You've got big intentions, big dreams, big aspirations, which seem quite far away. But what you need to know is that if you do st slow, steady planning, consistency, all of those things that allow you to take one step and then the next step and the next step, when you lay really good foundations, you'll start from the ground and work up. So that's what it's telling me. Keep being consistent. Again, there's been a, maybe you got knocked down or maybe you got um, hurt in business or hurt in relationships before because you were willing to accept some form of energy which wasn't balanced or wasn't fair or, or somebody wasn't giving the same that you were willing to give. So this is an imbalance in energy and now it's like, now you need to know that there needs to be give and take. So I feel like maybe um, this could even be within your own life. Maybe you guys were workaholics. Maybe you were all about this and you weren't enough about the family and the home life, but maybe you've had that massive wake up call from being stuck in your cave, from being at home, that you now know that everything in life is about a healthy balance. You can't be obsessive about one thing because again, that's devil energy, it's obsessiveness and it's, codependent so there might have been a codependency to work or something within that and you've healed that within yourself or maybe you're in a situation or with a certain person because of this because of the money aspect of it it's not healthy so again it's definitely having learned something from the past to help you because now you know you've got this Aquarius energy so you've got a real wisdom of knowing how to move forward so what is the omen of what it is that you're moving on to do What's the omen that you need to know? Right. 
So the aim of what you needed to know is that you were not stuck. It was basically a mindset. It was an outdated mindset. It was saying that now you actually see that there was no strings chaining you to anything. There was nothing keeping you codependent. All you had to do was close off this way of thinking or this old cycle. For many of you, again, this could be relationships who you're working with, and then when you choose to release them, because again, it's a mental hold that um, holds you back. It's not a physical, there's nothing in the physical. It's just a worry. It's like something very, very emotional that was at the heart of you. Um, again, this could have been something within your home life. It could have been something within your relationships or something that you held very close to your heart. And now um, it's like you have more clarity on that. Maybe you've had a massive like, climax since knowing that, that you actually see that whatever like, mysteries were surrounding this, now, now you feel like you've got the truth to be able to move forward, to close off these old cycles with the world. There's a big world out there and you want to get out and live it. So you don't want to be in this stuck energy because it only holds you back. So I feel like there's been a massive realization and you're not willing to be stuck in a situation anymore because now you see. Let's have one closing card. Too many. In fact, because I'm not coming out of that deck, I'm going to try this deck. One closing card for this collective one. Fire Fairy. So this is about putting energy into something new, something fresh, something that you have passion for. Again, it's very Leo Aries Sag. So it's, it's starting an idea and seeing it through and following it with gusto. It's like... Whatever it is, I just feel like you've got yourself into a new space. Maybe you've actually realized that love starts inside and now you love yourself. Now it's like, right, now I'm going to fulfill what I want to do because I've got energy for it. Whereas before, you're in this hibernate, hibernation stage. And no, that's about going after what you need because you've got passion. Yes, collective one. So I hope that that really resonates for you. If it does, please give it a massive like. Please drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear your situ. And please subscribe. Yo, welcome to Pick a Pile Collective 2. So... I've got your cards and let's lay them out. Let's see what your energy is about, what you've got to hear, what it's got to say. I am loving this energy collective too. So many of you are starting a new business. Many of you are realizing that you need to commit to new things. You need to look long into your future, what's going to be secure, and you're being your own best friend. So this is about you finally having that confidence, that um, glow about you, that determination, because it's a Leo energy. It's also about using what you're actually really good at. So you are extremely creative. You're very good with your hands, this group. It wouldn't surprise me if this was, again, something very practical, very hands-on. Again, it could be barbering, it could be bricking, it could be art, it could be film, whatever that is, makeup artist, it's something very hands-on, very practical. It tells me again that this is going to be a great career or, or very long-lasting for you. If this isn't um, something work-wise, this could be new home, it could be a move, but again, it's something that you see as something solid for yourself. You've got so much security with this, whatever it is. It's 10th house as well, so this is about something to do with your career or something about your stability. It's going to be what's going to... You're, you're actually using the wisdom of the past. So you're using all the skill sets that you've accumulated in life so far. Maybe you've taken on new learning or maybe it's from, from that job I learned this and from that job I learned that. And with all that wisdom and all that knowledge, then now I actually know how I can create this new opportunity for, for myself. And there's something that you are doing for yourself. And then it's reminding you to achieve this, you need to be structured, you need to have self-discipline. So that's super important for you to achieve. So making these very practical steps, making a very practical plan that you're fulfilling every day because consistency is key. So this is what's gonna help you achieve um, whatever it is in your career, but it's telling you again, it's Leo energy and you need to be bold. So you need to be bold, you need to get out yourself out there. So if you've been putting off starting something or you've been doing all the research constantly and you're like, right, um, but I just need to do that before I do, you know, do the next step. Yeah, there is an element of that, but it's saying be bold and make the first move. You need to get yourself out there. So you need to be seen. Leo energy, it needs to be seen. And again, I feel like there's some form of, it's like put on a show. Like, so when you're doing it, doing it with, do it with gusto and do it with confidence. So believe in yourself. So this group, you really do need to believe in yourself um, a lot and it's like you've got this brand new opportunity and it's the medallion so it's like well done you totally get it you're totally aligned and you've, you've excelled in something it's like spirits going yes 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 just keep going so when you put the work in you get oh god I've even got a tingly face so that is spirit totally saying that 
and when you put the commitment in then you get the sweet nectar you get that sweet honey so this is about something that you're working on uh, or working towards it's definitely a dream it's definitely a goal and you will succeed because again the, the medallion and the nectar that's just like hells yes you are acing whatever it is that you need to do you've put really good groundwork and you've put really good foundations in and you're listening to what you're good at because this is very much queen of wands energy so people see you as being amazing at what you do you're almost it's like you've perfected your skill set and you're the best and you need to know that so what other messages are coming through for collective two please So there might have been an element of rest. You might have had to have paused for something. You might have had to work through something. There might have been some extreme planning. You might have had to spiritually align. So your gut told you that you needed to do this. Or even now there might be an element of pause before you can jump in and do this within your next part of your career or, or within your life. But again, it's telling you to use your intuition as your guide. You're extremely spiritual people. You might even be having a spiritual path in life. Um, but it's definitely about connecting to your higher self and your knowing. What else? Yeah, it's definitely connecting to your higher self. So you might be taking on, if you've been taking on some new learning, now it's time for you to be teaching. Or there's an element of teacher learner, like now you know enough, then you can put it out there to the world and let them learn something from what you're doing. But definitely teacher learning, so it could be going into some form of counselling, assistance, Whatever that is, it's like people will be so wanting to hear what you have to say and that will be enthused by it. Again, there's going to be something to celebrate very soon. It might even be reconciling an energy um, with a person from the past and there could be a spiritual connection. I'm not seeing um, necessarily the energy of another, but again, it could just be that that's what's driven you to get here. Is there anything else we need to pick up on or see? Ah, too many. I'll take that one though. Yeah, taking on some form of new learning. It's like you are so quick thinking. You've got um, lots of inspiration, lots of ideas around you. You are like a sponge. This is like SpongeBob SquarePants. You are so enthused. You know, every single thing around you, it's like, right, no, now I, I want to know that or I need to know that. And you have such a thirst for life, a thirst for knowledge. And now it's about taking what you've learned, taking what you've already known, taking that wisdom from all your other opportunities that you've had, all the other success that you've had, all the other jobs that you've had, all the other learnings that you've had, and make it your own, make it solid, make it into something lasting that, um, that can be your own security. So I am loving that Energy Collective too, and I really hope that resonates. If it does, please give it a like, please drop it in the comments, and please subscribe, appreciate you. Welcome Collective 3, here's your pile, let's lay it out and see what it's got to say. Wow, okay, so this is like very powerful energy. It's very about soul connections. It's about your heart space, about love, about trusting, about surrendering. So if you feel like you are going through the mill, that you are being poked, challenged, um, triggered, you're supposed to be because there's something about the way that you operate. I think that you are almost um, too giving, too kind. It's like they want to toughen you up, so they're making your load really heavy. So they're making you feel burdened. So if you feel currently that you're burdened by other people's problems, other things that aren't important, it's like they're making, Spirit's making that load so heavy, so you fully surrender and go, you know what, I'm done, I can't cope with that anymore, I don't want that in my life, and it's like, whew, take it off, like, take that weight off. Um, it's trying to make you close cycles. So this is all about not resisting. This is all about welcoming the new. It's about opening your heart. It's about starting um, to let the light into your heart again. So you guys might have gone through um, upset. You might have gone through hard lessons. You might have gone through losses. You might have gone through betrayal. Whatever those feel like, I feel like they were really painful and burdensome for you. So this could be bad health, it could be loads of different things and it's telling you that your commitment's being tested. So this is really about your faith. It's saying how much do you trust that the universe has got you back? How much do you trust that you are supposed to grow from this? How much do you trust just generally that, that everything will be okay? And this is definitely about fully surrendering to the, the ebb and the flow of the universe and what lessons you're supposed to learn within your life. Again, this is 12th house energy. So these could be soul connections, soul pulls. So these are all of the divine relationships or the counterparts where someone's like messed you up, where they've been in your life, 
said that they love you, disappeared, ghosted you. Um, it could be somebody that you've lost, somebody that's passed away, someone that's like the other half of your soul, somebody that you long for, somebody that you love. Um, these are all about your spiritual connections, as above, so below. So it's trying to get you to connect to your higher self, to your trust that there's a bigger picture out here, that there's a bigger purpose. It's about your spirituality. It's about karma. So definitely some of you might be having some strong karmic lessons that you've been moving to, well, moving through or going, well, why me? <laughs> you know, why am I getting all these karmic things going on, all these traumatic things? But you might be the generation that's supposed to clear the karma. It's not saying that you always deserve the karma, but it's like you need to, for some reason, they want you to connect to your higher self. They want you to connect to your faith and your spirituality and just trust that you're going to be protected. So definitely um definitely challenging energy you guys have definitely feeling like you've had one thing after the other but look at all this energy of faith and commitment so see how in all of these you've got the red string of fate so whatever it is this was already fated to you it was already written in the stars um, and you just have to and i got a shiver of what you like wave of shivers on that so that's spirit going i'm sorry but yes like it was already written and it again it's telling you to hold on so you just need to trust that that darkness or that shadow work is clearing and that after every very, very heavy storm, you will always get a much brighter, beautiful rainbow. So you need to hold in for the hope at the end of all these hard lessons, at the end of all these um, storms of your life. See the promise of that gorgeous rainbow. And again, it's about just keeping yourself aligned. So it's aligning all your chakras. So still being at peace within yourself. So again, if you're struggling to move through things, try meditation. Um, try affirmations to help you close off because it's about saying um you know i am good enough i you know all these things about positivity and about what you want um so you're definitely crossing a bridge you're definitely going to be moving it's i feel like this is connected to somebody so again it's something very emotional there's lots of water in here so again it's a complete trust that this is a, a message just for you, or it had to be just for you to help you grow, to help you heal, to help you rise, to help challenge you to be who you are supposed to be, who you need to be, to have all these lessons that maybe you need to pass on to somebody else. And again, if that doesn't say it enough, you've got ninth, ninth house, which is about your faith. So you need to completely trust that if you're being forced or you're, you're seeing that this isn't working or that something feels like a dead end situation, it probably is and you need to trust it and you need to close it. You need to work yourself out of it or you need to be able to go, have acceptance because the highest vibration you can be at is peace. So there's some form of peace of mind that maybe this collective needs or just know that this isn't, this isn't happening to you, it's happening for you. There's a really big difference. So it's, yeah, just have unconditional faith. You guys might be the group that needs to ask the angels for something. So if this is about health or if this is about loss or if this is about um, another person which has um, been shut off from your energy and just ghosted, it's like maybe you need to ask your angels that they're there and that they, they support you. If you want to know how to do that, again, check out one of my other previous videos about asking angels. But I feel like that is... This is so testing your faith and there's nothing that you could have done. You couldn't have avoided any of this energy, but this is just asking you to be unconditional love. There's nothing more loving than the dog. You can shout at this dog. You can tell this dog off and will it love you? It will always love you. So as long as you always operate from love and for love, then you are aligned. You're doing everything as you should be. So you pass whatever this test is, you pass. What's the other energy surrounding this? balance so you need to know that the angel of times here again i keep getting waves of shivers you definitely have got angels around you. you've got those angels of protection and it's saying something within this cannot be rushed so you can't force oil and water to mix it, it takes time and it takes um manipulation it take it takes it takes working with this energy to be able to understand it to be able to make it work for you Again, it's light and dark. So these could definitely be soul connections, counterpart connections, people that you've lost in the past. Say you, like it's so cruel, but maybe you lost somebody, maybe you lost the other half of your soul and that's what's pulling you. Very sort of Piscean energy. 
Again, Neptune energy. So maybe you're going to find your most healing from music. Maybe you're going to find your most healing from getting your sand in, at your feet in the sand, being at the beach, if you're lucky enough to be close enough, or just waiting for that time where you can just be so earthed and so grounded. You also get the Nine of Swords and the Magician. So there's something where you've been very much in um, an element of pain. You think there's, there's something cruel about what's going on around you or whatever this situation is. Um, and it's just saying, try and, try and get your headspace out of this nightmare that it's happening to you. It's not meaning to happen to you. It's, it's a process. It's, it's, it's making you surrender because you are the magician. So ultimately you can manifest what you want in your life. It's a mercury energy. So maybe you need to talk about it. Maybe you need to, maybe your sole purpose is to be able to be the voice for everybody else who's going through these hard times. There's something about where you have everything that you need, you just need to see it, or, or that these are the, the, the dreams around you, because with this, like everything can be up in the air, and, and it's how you pull yourself out of this dream state, or how you pull yourself out of a nostalgic state, um, to be able to use all of these skills, to be able to use all of your experience, and all of your lessons, and all of your hardships, to help, to heal, to give. So that's what I feel um, ultimately this collective are. You guys are real empaths. You're probably rainbow children, indigo children. And you're supposed to be that healing person to others around you, that nurturer. Through tough lessons, through karma, through experience, you are um, basically a divine soul that's supposed to help awaken others. So that's generally why you have these hardships and hard lessons. It's not, it's not fair, it's not just, but it's like, I have to still operate from love. I still have to be this unconditional love and I have to trust. Um, so I really hope that resonates for you, Collective Three. If it does, please give this a like, please drop it in the comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So I really hope that these messages today have resonated with you. I hope they've helped and I hope they heal something or help you move forward in a way that you've been feeling has been a tricky situation. Um, if there's something very personal to your situation that you would like answers for, I do do personals. Lots of people have been asking me this week saying, can I book in just for one for me? So you absolutely can. Just check in the descriptions below, jump on my link tree and you'll see personals with Lauren. Or if you would like a personal with Julie, she does the mediumship side. So say you have lost somebody in spirit or somebody on the other side and it's just saying you want to connect with them or try and connect with them, then she's your woman. So she really is an earth angel and you will love her messages. So thank you very much for joining me today. And again, if you've already liked this, if you've already commented or subscribed, thank you very much. And I hope that you will come and fly with Lauren again soon. So till the next time, take care of yourself. Peace out.